Hey, you already know it's gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I, you know it's gravitation with the observation. Hey, check this out, bro. It's gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. But I am part of the city where that's homegrown radio, Carson, California. Hey, now real talk. Are we serious when we talking about this 50 and his wing versus? Are we serious? Are we are we are we really serious? Can we break this down? <laughs> I'm gravity, bro. This is what I do, homie. Music is this. This is what I do, bro. Next to football, bro. This is this is what I do. And I I'm not gonna even lie, cause I've been slacking lately. I'm gonna be real. Like my true my true homies know, like, bro. It's just music, bro. Like when it comes to this, bro. It's like, bro. I'm the young. I'm the historian when it comes to those West Coast music. Matter of fact, all but. You feel me? I feel like my knowledge is up there. So, Pete, right? Because I, I kind of feel like we moving the goalposts. Like, the initial verses with Swiss Beats in, uh, I was about to say Justin Tim, in uh, Timberland, it was 20 for 20, hit for hit. Not mixtape music or unreleased music. It was hit for hit, like music we already know. That's verses. That's what that is. Now, with the Jada Kiss and the whole uh, Dipset thing, hey, he did what he had to do. I mean, that was something different. Don't get me wrong. I I, I have another uh, <laughs> review and react. Like, I have another opinion about that one. Man, I, I really want to break that one down, too. You feel me? But that's something different. But that was New York. Like I say, that's Mecca. So it's supposed to be like that. Like, however they set that up, that's cool. But that's where people, a lot of people are like falling off or getting like the misconception of, bro, versus is 20 hits that we know, that we know, not the homies down the street, not your hood that we know, hit for hits, that's what they was playing. If you go back to the original versus, they were playing songs, I'm talking about with Swiss Beats and Timberland back during COVID, they were playing songs that we already know. It wasn't now. It wasn't one song where they played, and we was like, "Damn, we ain't heard that before." BS. You must have been under a rock or something. Like you feel me? But uh, Pete though, twenty for twenty, man. We talk about low weight, and we talk about fifty. Now, mind you, I'm a fan of both of these two goats, cause fifty is man <laughs> out this world, homie. Fifty is out this world. Uh, Wayne, you already know how I feel about Wayne. I I know I might sound like I'm biased, but I'm just being real. I mean, I'ma really break it down on how I truly feel. If we go twenty songs hit for hit, because I've been seeing a lot of cash, right? Talking about the mixtapes. Oh well, well, Fifty started the mixtapes. Fifty started the mixtapes, which is true. The power of the dollar, and I think it was something else. What's what's another one? My boy TJ used to tell me. Great. It was one, but I'm talking about where I used to listen. Like, okay, bam. Like, I'm talking about later, though. Which is true. 50 years ago, and then when you go back and listen to some of these documentaries and hear some of these stories, like especially, uh, what's the one on uh, Netflix? I forget the name of it, but I, I guess uh, it's Hip Hop something. But whatever that one is on, uh, Hip Hop Grown or how hip hop started or whatever, and they touch different regions. But I know it's on Netflix. It's a dope uh, series or whatever. Especially just, you know, not to get off subject, but I didn't know that Schooly D from Philadelphia really started not so much gangster rap, but he started the cadence of gangster rap. That's another thing. People keep saying Schooly D started gang. No, Ice Cube still started it with six in the morning is at my door. Like he still started it with that. But the cadence came from Schooly D, if I'm not mistaken. But Toddy T and them too, like, that's another subject. My fault, because I'm, dang, that's another. But yeah, anyways, though, check this out. We going back 50 and Wayne. That's what we talking about, right? We going to break it down. Let me learn y'all real quick. <laughs> I don't even know why it's like it's a, it's a no-brainer because it's it's like and y'all keep y'all keep saying like, "Oh, 51 album versus all the Carters." No, what no, that don't it's hits. Hits. We're talking about hits. Now, 50 did have that whole album is classic. I'm not going to lie. Get Rich or Die Trying, that whole album is classic. You get what I'm saying? But I'm talking about hits. Like, see, not the ones that we know. That's the point. Not the ones we know. Every, But I'm talking about what was his singles on that album. That's what we're comparing. Like, if you want to compare those, compare, and I'm not just saying stick it to that album. I'm just saying if you want to compare that, then compare that. 
What was the singles? Even off the massacre, I don't even have to give give Richard Dice trying it. Uh, Curtis, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of fell off with Five O when he went to uh, Before I Self Destruct and all the rest of those albums or whatever because it, it seemed like he was his heart was into television by then. You feel me? He was starting to get into the uh, production like movie, you know, scene. So he kind of fell. I'm gonna be real. Even Curtis with what was that? Have a baby by me, baby. Be a welfare. Have a baby. I mean. Have a baby for me, baby. Be a millionaire. Whenever, you know, whatever that started. Um, that's what that's what I'm talking about. That was my, my fault. I'm sure that was my verse. I, I did that. But um, yeah, even if you like want to throw that in the mix, I'm talking about that, bro. Like, give me the hits. Like the singles that was booming, then yeah, you compare. Not the whole album. That's what we get mixed. Because if that's the case, bro, y'all can always compare somebody to somebody. You get what I'm saying? Like, if we just want to go album for album, quite as kept. I, not to get off subject, but I think Drag On first album, I swear that should have got a better push. Uh, the opposite of H2O is flaming a lot of nigga shit in the year 2000. A lot of, even, I hate to say it, even the uh, go against the uh, the block is hot. Well, I mean, not the block, excuse me. Lights Out by Lil Wayne. I would pick Drag On opposite of H2O. That, pff, flaming. Go back and listen to that if y'all ain't tapped in. But we're going to talk about singles, like I say. We're talking about hits for hits that we know. We're going hits for hits that we know. 50's catalog. Wayne's catalog. Just take, a, take, just, just take a second. Just take a second and think about that for a second, bro. Once again, we're going to go with 5 catalog. And we're going to go with Wayne Catalog. Y'all peeping? Y'all peeping? Y'all peeping? Now look, even if y'all want to throw in the mixtapes, right? Let's say if we did throw in the mixtape, and this is how I truly feel, and it's no disrespect. And it's probably just the, the time, the different uh, time era or whatever. But even if we did mixtapes. Quite as kept, what turned a lot of people on, not my peers, but like my pops, you know, I'm going to say this, not my peers, the the ones before me and the ones after me. I'm going to say that is because of the mixtapes. I'm going to just, I'm going to be all the way real, unless she was a true Wayne fan. So what I mean by that is 5 did the mixtapes, right? But I felt like that was only out there on the East Coast. If you heard 50 Cent mixtapes on the West Coast, uh, 98, 99, whatever that, you was just a true hip-hop fan. But then again, bro, I, the percentage is small. Bro, I didn't been, check this out, bro. I didn't been to Northern California, the Bay Area, Northern California. I didn't been to Las Vegas. Shout out to Bay. I didn't been to Texas. Mesquite, to be exact. I'd admit to Arizona. Tempe, to be exact. All of these locations that I've been, even back home, it was always a Wayne mixtape bumping. Especially, like, from that from that 06 era to, like, damn near 11. Every time Wayne, to sorry for the wait. I'm talking about, like, you. they damn near was like albums, bro. Come on, bro. They damn near was like albums. Let's just be all the way real. Now, I'm arguing with my own self. I'm not going to lie. Somebody would have been like, oh, well, it would have been different back then because the technology wasn't up to par when 50 was dropping his mixtapes. It was more the hand-to-hand. -hand. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm a true Wayne fan. The squad up, you all right. 2002, 2003, yeah, we was getting it because of the internet, the line wire, so on and so forth. You get what I'm saying? Like when the first original drop came out. You get what I'm saying? You all right about that. So the... the um. The internet did play a big part as far as Wayne really like thriving off the off the mixtape. I will give him that. The drama, all that. I will give him that. But that ain't no excuse, bro. Not no excuse. I'm sorry, bro. Don't get. Hey, that's what the time it is. Like you feel me? That's just the time frame. Don't tell me that. Oh, if, if Fifty had the internet, what is? No, because if that's the case, bro, you can still go back and tap in. You get what I'm saying? You can still go back and tap in. But um, yeah, man, twenty for twenty, bro. 20 for 20. Try to keep it short as possible. I was supposed to keep it under the engine, under 10. But 20 for 20, who do y'all got? Lil Wayne, 
or 5-0. Hits, not albums, hits. Y'all let me know. It's gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. Yeah.